Hey party people, welcome back. So, oh my god. It, you, as you will know if you've been following this in real time, uh, it has been a while since the last one. And that's for a few reasons, partly because I've been super busy taking care of these neonatal kittens that I'm fostering. And the other, wait, I, I gotta pick up this freaking ladder. I needed the ladder. Is that this, this segment sucks. The, the last segment sucked and this segment also sucks. Because there's no fun people to talk to, it's only walking around and clicking on things until you win. Which I understand is an adventure game thing, but I don't have to like it. But in one of these rooms around here, there is that crevice with the statue that now I can go to it because I have the ladder. So yeah, I've actually done some of this, but I just got so like sick of it and frustrated. Oh, here it is. That I stopped playing last time and I was just like, I'll do this again later. But now I'm dedicated and I'm ready and I'm gonna fucking finish this shit. I'm gonna put this baby to bed. So see, see now I can go over here. And there's a statue. Or, or wait, I mean a cup. Now I got the cup. I don't think there's anything else to, to see about sure this guy. Sure ugly. Yeah. Alright, so, walk over here. Uh, Looks walk, deep. Yeah, walk, walk over here. And then pick it up. Nope. Pick it up. Alright. So now we have a cup, so now we can go back to the lava room and do some lava stuff. But yeah, there, there's a lot of different little items that we need here, and unfortunately guides for it can't be super clear because everything's randomized in terms of where it is, so you just kind of have to hope that you're getting everything you need as you go. Dr. Jones, is it? Now we've got you. We'll see about that. And these guys are all fucking chumps and they keep respawning. Put them up. And you just have to, you have to click on them as fast as you can until they die. It's incredibly thrilling. He doesn't have anything worth taking. So yeah, uh, <laughs> you just keep having to do that. Like you do. If only I could finish him off. I bet they have guns. Or I guess they don't have guns since they just insist on punching me. Let's see. Where's the lava room? There we go. Oh, do we have to do another one? Dr. George. Well, maybe they'll at least now stay down for you. a bit. We'll see about that. Yeah, you Let's really see how got me. You really are. Enough talk. I should really look up exactly how this works. Oh, my health is still low. Oh my god, I didn't know that I have to like re re uh heal or whatever. I'm gonna die. <gasps> Indy discovered Atlantis, but the Nazis won the race to under his secrets. Oh no! <laughs> Oops. Well, I will be right back once I get that stuff again. Okay, I'm back and I've got the ladder in the cup again. But before I go to the lava room, I remembered I'm actually pretty close to this other place. See, there's a secret little room here that I need to go to. Boop, 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 boop. And it is... It's like a subway tram thing. So I guess this whole outer part of the maze is how they got around. It's a cage of ribs, more or less intact. A cage of ribs? Why would you say it that way? Because you need not to lug use an it. Entire skeleton around. Oh, I just need to pick up the rib cage. Yeah, this might be useful. It's a cage of ribs, more or less intact. <laughs> I guess he calls it a cage of ribs as a hint of what you need to do with it, because what you need to do with it is ridiculous. Oh, this is one of those places where, like, how do you? Oh, see, this is this takes me to the skeleton. This takes me to the hallway. <laughs> Mmm. Alright, now we're gonna go over to the lava zone. Alright, so now we're in the lava room. And now that we have this awesome cup, we can get some lava. So we need to use a statue here with this little part here that I missed before. And so now it's pouring. Oh wait, I, uh, actually I need to not use that yet. I need to, I need to put the cup where I can catch it. And then I need to use the head so that it pours into the cup. Aha! Uh -huh. And then he's very proud of himself. Last time I tried to do that with the stein and the mug 
or wait, the mug and something else, and they uh, melted. They were insufficient to contain this lava. So now that I have the lava, I can take it to the ore calcum room to make some ore calcum. And by the ore calcum room, I mean the room with the little fishy dogs. Little blub blub blub. Here we go. I'm glad that they are close together in this iteration. <laughs> I missed you guys. Alright, so... You see how there's this little wheel here? I need to use my little wheel. Must have been part of some ancient machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to use it with this. Well, that looks much better. Yeah. So now I can go up here to the funnel and pour the lava in. <laughs> Getting in my cardio. All right. Use the lava-filled cup with the funnel. <laughs> look at it, look at him breathing a little smoke. Uh oh, is the third row gonna breathe some smoke? <laughs> and then oh, it's beautiful it's science. Apparently, um, you can come back and do this multiple times to get more or calcum. But I don't think it's necessary because it just says that you have like a bunch of it. Let me see. Pick up. Let me see, pick it up. Well, well. Aura calcum beads. Yeah, and then. I've got a lot of beads. You got a lot of beads, so that should be sufficient. And then we need to make sure to take this. I think. Can I take both? Won't come loose. Can't take that. I think there's something else I need to. Is it this? I can't pick that up. I can't pick that up. Hmm. Hmm, maybe there isn't anything I need from here. There's like a, a disc of some sort or like a gear that I'm missing from somewhere. And I was not able to find it last time and I that was one of the things that got me so frustrated. <laughs> but in the meantime <gasps> No 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 Nazi! No Nazi! No! Where are you going, Indy? Go this way. You dum dum. We can catch us a crab. We're gonna need it later. So <laughs> we have to bait this trap, and apparently you can do it with either the bratwurst or the sandwich. But I want to save my awesome submarine sandwich, so I am going to use the bratwurst with the rib cage. It worked. And that's why he kept describing it as a cage of ribs, because you have to use it as a cage to catch a crab. So we use the rib with the pool. I hope this catches crabs. <laughs> that sounded like a like a STD joke. Yeah. Oh wait, pick up. All right, so now I've got trap crab. Feisty crab in there. He <laughs> feisty. Uh, do I want to look through that wheel, or do I want to go ahead and? Oh, in any case, we can go to the canal. All right, do I have all Jones, my health back yet? Jones, you never learn. Don't you say be that, too sure. but I'm the one that keeps kicking your ass. Let's get this over with. My thought exactly. All right, do I have full health? Yeah. I guess it must just take a little while. Or maybe you just have to zone out and back in. Hacha. Have that you gonna click your dick. Mm, he doesn't have anything worth taking. I'll show you. Always go for the balls. Are we gonna meet? Nah. Strafed ya. Okay, so now that we're here, we can use the eel sculpture with an orichalcum bead. Hey, it's getting hot. And throw a snake in the water. And ba ba bam! All the water went away. Oh, I think we also have to use an orichalcum bead on this fish statue or something. We need to give it to someone. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, just like, oh, you can come in, I guess. And there's a slag. It's all that's left of the eel statue. You can't pick it up. I don't need a worthless heap of slag. Which is weird. I guess I just wanted you to know that the eel statue is no longer a thing you can have. So now we're over here. And we have access to the dungeon zone. 
and we cannot get Sophia out of there yet, so we can... I don't think that'll work. We can say hello. Once it was a priceless artifact. Now it's a pile of junk. I think there's something I can pick up here. There's too much junk to carry. Uh, sentry statue... I can't pick that up. I can't reach... I can't reach it from here. Hmm. And here's a crushed guard. Not much left of him. <laughs> it looks Sophia. Well? See you soon. Don't leave me here, Indy. <laughs> that's all. That's all you can say to her. She's just scared and you're just like, meh, see ya. <laughs> so that's cool. That's cool times. Uh, how did they get her in there? <laughs> Don't they have a key or something? Oh, I think that's what I can pick up. Yeah, okay, so I got that and the wheel. I think there's a gear I'm missing, but I'll come back for it if that's the case. Because I looked around all the rooms and I could not find one that gave Jones, me the gear. Don't you dare leave me here, you, you troglodyte! S -s Sorry, Sophia. For some reason I can't help you yet. <laughs> so now we're down here and <gasps> there's, a, there's an octopus. We've already got the Octo Expansion in this game. So that's why we need our crab in a cage. We gotta give it to the octopus. We gotta, gotta use the crab. I don't know why I'm so bad at... Oh! It was just delayed. <laughs> so yeah, the, the octopus is now satisfied and we can... I can't board it from here. We can go over here. I think I just need to... How do I get in the water? Yeah, okay. A blub blub blub. Now I'm over here by this large fish head. It's a strange carving. That it is, Indy. Alright, so... I think we use the ore calcum on the crab mouth. Whoa! This thing's got a motor! Hehe, <laughs> and now we're on a little crab boat. Okay, I actually haven't done all this stuff down here, so... It's closed. I won't be quite as familiar, but we need to use these things on the spindle to open them. It doesn't quite fit. Is it is it the smaller one then? No. Yeah. It doesn't quite fit. Is it the biggest one? Yeah, now I can go in there. Boop, 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 boop. All right, so I haven't been in this direction. There's just piles of bones. If there's something important in these piles of bones, I'm going to be mad because usually he just says... That's a pile of bones. Yeah. I don't need any old bones. But who knows? Maybe they're animal bones. I don't need any old bones. <laughs> yeah, if they're hiding something in there, that'd be unreasonable. Maybe we just need to keep using progressively smaller ones. So, hmm, what's over here? There's more bones. I'm gonna look at them just in case. No animal I know about has bones like these. Oh, they're like a... These bones are weirdly twisted. Oh, that's actually kind of creepy. But I wonder if they're just like some weird Atlantean animals that don't exist anymore. <laughs> weirdly twisted. Ooh. That's good, though. I like it. Oh. Must have been part of some ancient machine. Give me that shit. Alright, we have a crescent shaped gear. I forget what all we needed. I need to open up the guide. But we've got the gear, we got the thing. There's like five items that we need for a puzzle that's coming up. Okay, open. It's closed. Oh, I mean, use these. It doesn't quite oh, fit. Oh, wait, the smaller, smallest one. World stone. It's funny that the world stone is smaller than the moon stone. That don't make any sense. But I guess the idea is that the other bodies are rotating around it. <laughs> Stupid ancient people. Any human being with bones like this must have been diseased. Interesting. I can't reach it. All right, what's in here? Oh, this is the room I was at before. It must make a circle. Okay, so we've got this chain here, right? 
It's a chain through a loop of stone. I think I have to I have to pick it up. I can't lift the whole thing at once. Pick. Oh, oh, or use. Whoa, I accidentally I can see my indie points. Whatever. I ain't going for no high score. Okay, see it and now he's got it in his in his arm. Maybe I was supposed to use it with the other one? I can't make the chain reach that far. Okay. But I need to use a ladder here. And I can go up here and open the chest plate. Yeah, see? Oh god, I hope I'm not missing something right here. But, um... So there's like these different parts. Maybe put the wheel here? And then, and then the statue head? And then the peg? You like it? Well, nothing happened. Dang! Dingle darn. Um... Maybe, maybe that has to go on top. One sec. Where's there? Oh, they can go in different configurations. Time to open up the guide. <laughs> Nothing happened. Ah, uh, as I feared, I'm, I'm missing a bronze gear. So in one of those rooms in the top part, there's a gear that I need to get. So I will meet back up with you guys once I find that motherfucker. There it is! God dang! You sneaky little snake. Okay, now we got what we need and we can go back all the way back. But we can do it now. Do what we need to do. Chance, chance. You never learn! Don't you know when to quit? Dude, I am so done with you. I floored you before. I can floor you again. I love to floor Enough you. Talk. I can click you in the dick. In the dick. Get him in the Get him in the nards. Get him in the cojones. Mm, he doesn't have anything worth taking. But now I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you, you freaking statue thing. Okay, so. Hmm. I'm gonna look at the guide. It says put the wheel on. Then it says put the statue head on. Can do. Bam. And then throw those two parts never change places. Place the crescent shaped gear on the right. Okay. I can't pick it up. I'm already holding something. What? I can't pick it up. I'm already holding something. Okay. Using the serious and the bronze gear on the upper left corner peg. Bam. And then and then these. Chicka 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 do you like it? Hell yeah. Alright. Oh, do I do I just have to use use chain with the statue arm? Now I can do it to both? Yeah, okay. Then what? Uh uh. It's a loop of bronze where the arm used to connect. Uh, look back in the chest plate. Okay, guide says move the bronze gear to the lower left corner peg. Can do. Insert another bead inside the hole and the statue's arms will open the door. Oh shit. I'm ready. Apparently there was some kind of diagram somewhere we could have found that would give you a hint as to where to put this stuff. But I don't remember seeing it. Whoa! Well, alright then. Wait. Oh, that's right, I'm up there. <laughs> For a second, I was worried I got hit. <gasps> hinge pin. This was a hinge pin that held up the door. <gasps> okay, the guide says, now you have a choice to make. You can either continue on inside Atlantis or go back to the dungeon room to rescue Sophia. This changes the ending of the adventure, so you might want to save your game here and try both paths. Don't forget to take back your ladder before you leave. Well, shit. 
I always want the best ending, so I guess we will go rescue Sophia. I guess I like to see the bad ends too on like visual novels or whatnot, but this ain't a visual novel. I bet the bad end sucks. I bet it's just, you did it, but Sophia's... who knows? <laughs> she drowned. But we're gonna rescue her, goddammit. Alright, Sophia, I hope you're grateful. I'm gonna save you. Apparently I need to give this hinge pin to Sophia. What am I supposed to do with this? Maybe we'll think of something. Stop being such a huge bitch all the time. Jeez. Uh... Ooh, nice button. Are you sure this is safe? <laughs> I've got a plan. Which is? Oh my god, just fucking go under it. I can't grunt, hold this up much longer, brace the door with a rock, brace the cage with a hinge pin, just trust me! Brace the cage with a hinge pin. You know, that just might work. There! Whoa, okay, that was way bigger than I thought it was. You know, I had to slug you. What Come the freak? Come on, Sophia, don't be angry. <laughs> angry? You left me rotting in this hellhole! Well, if that's how you feel, maybe you should stay here. Maybe I will. Great idea. Oh, I should have left you. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, she did the leg kick! What was that? <laughs> I'm not sure. I think Nurab Sol made me do it. <laughs> oh my god. That so? Okay, that made that worth it. Whoa! <laughs> Dangerous fella, that Mr. Sal. Yeah. Well, we better be going. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. I like it though. It's stupid. I can't. It's wedged in too tight. Oh, can I can I get it at all? I can't. It's wedged in too tight. I can't. It's wedged in too tight. Aha. Oops, I do not need to pick up Sophia. Alright, so now we've got our Sophia and our hinge pin, and we can make our way back down. <laughs> eh, jeez. So this is how romance works, huh? I have no frame of reference except media! And surely it would never lie to me. Alright, we're back here together. So now let's go deep into Atlantis. Looks like the way to the middle of Atlantis. Wait, yeah, I want I want to go in it. There we go. Indeed, right. Nurab Sal is here. I sense his presence. Hold on a minute. Are you feeling okay? Where exactly is he? Will you please stop with this hokum? <laughs> I still don't believe her. Where exactly is he? Right around the corner. I'm sure of it. Oh, he's just hanging out. Um. Show me. All right, prepare yourself and follow me. Oh, for crying out loud. Wait, so is he a good guy or not? She seems to like him. In here, Indy. Follow me. Oh, there's like some Cthulhu-looking guys. Okay. Oh. It looks like a hellish elephant. <laughs> a elephant. Ooh, lava pit. Ah, oh, Dr. Jones. Welcome to my humble abode. Um. Hi. This is, this cool. Okay, so you're near Absol now, I I guess. Is this this is your home. This is where you live. It's kind of shitty. Uh, what's up? Hey. Speak mortal. <laughs> Uh, Jesus, place gives me the creeps. Come on, Sophia, let's get out of here. Take it easy while I look around. Take it easy while I look around. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. What? Wait, so I can just be like, okay. <laughs> but you're clearly possessed right now. Ooh, skeletons. Look at those feet, or whatever they were. Oh yeah, they've got like look at those feet, merman or feet or something. Were. Huh. Sophia. Talk! <laughs> She's just doing this. Jeez, this place gives me the creeps. Oh, I find it exceptionally restful. 
<laughs> yeah, the stone beds sure look comfy. Silent fool! <laughs> Don't make fun of my house. Come on, Sophia, let's get out of here. Never! I'm staying right here with the spirit who guides my thoughts. Hello, spirit guide. My name's Jones. Yes, I know you. You'll make a fine slave. <laughs> oh, yeah? Don't count on it. Take it easy while I look around. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> you just be so casual about it. All right. Um, I have a feeling I have to do some of this outfit. Oh, wait. Oh, can I do that thing where I look at her necklace? Mind if I look at your necklace? Oh, shit, it's glowing red. Why is it flashing like that? You know why. Um, can I put an ore calcum bead in there? Seems like a bad idea. Ah, oh, shit. Ow. That medallion is hot. It is transforming. Drop it, why don't you? Nerab Sal won't let me. All right, well, give me. Ouch, it's too hot. Oh, no. Um, 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 use my whip on it? That's my whip. You Use it on the necklace. That doesn't seem to work. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guide, what do I do? Um, blah, 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 blah. Now it's cooled off. Oh, shit. Oops. Okay, I guess I have to look at what I need to do. Ah, I need to put it in the gold box. That makes sense. Okay. Hey, let me look at your necklace again. Mind if I look at your necklace? Let's see, if we become a cute little vampire again. Use or calcum with the mouth. Ah! Hi, <laughs> Nini. That medallion is hot. All right, all right. I need to use. It's an empty gold no, box. Use with gold the lead box lining. with the necklace. Hop. No. Sorry, Sophia. So long, you're up, Saul. Oh, shit! <laughs> Bullshit! I hate you. Thanks, Indy. If you hadn't done that, I'd be as dead as that monster. Well, that's it. That's the end of the Nurab Saul arc. Do you, do you have anything to say about this? Excuse me. Yes? Uh, uh. Come on, Sophia. Let's get out of here. Lead the way, Indy. I'm with you. <laughs> oh, well, all right then, I guess. Let's see. Oh, wait. Strange skills. Bones don't grow like this naturally. Where do you suppose they come from? Mm -mm -mm. Mars? <laughs> no. That's cute. It's a bronze rod, probably a king's scepter. Alright, pick up. Now I got a scepter. I'm looking at the guide, apparently, if Sophia wasn't with us, we'd just come in here, get the scepter, be done. Not have to worry about anything. I guess Nurupsal would just be chillin, and they're like, God damn it. Alright. Whoa, okay, there's some kind of big machine. There's a mouth. I assume I need to put an ore calcum in there. Going up? I'll wait down here. Suit yourself. <laughs> Alright. I've, if there's anything I've learned, is that I need to put ore calcum in mouths. Was oh, it like a big drilling machine? Was oh, it? Is it still speeding up? It's a huge version of the Microtar statue. Microtar, the little oh yeah, the little robot that like ran away. He's still having his own adventure. Well, what do you want? Uh... What do we do now? Plato described the city divided into three rings, and we've seen two. We can try for the third one, or quit and go home. Any idea what this thing might be? 
It looks kind of like a tractor to me, a burrowing tractor. Yeah. We can't quit. Then show me what to do. I'm lost. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. It's a huge version of the Microtar statue. Oh, wait. Left slot, middle slot, right slot. Okay. Oh, and apparently this is some kind of clue? Wait, what does this guy say? I'm done with this bullshit. Insert the hinge pin and the scepter in the right slots to start the machine. Use, use a hinge pin in the right slot. And the scepter... The middle slot? And then... and then... Also, I, I have to see some kind of guide. Wait... Apparently there's something out here that shows me the position that I need to put them in. Is it, is it this? It shows it going up. Hmm, I wonder if these markings are related to that huge machine. It looks very vague. Okay, there's like... There's like Tetsuya and then there's up. Weird. Oh, this might take some trial and error. I can't move it. Let's try with them both up. Okay, so maybe it looked like there was it, it was like up on the left and up on the right. Uh push. So it'd be like that. And then I and then I <gasps> I'm out of motherfucking orc alchem, are you kidding me? I'm gonna it's gonna load. It's not worth going back to that machine and getting more work, Calcum. Oh, I didn't save since I got Sophia. Oh, fuck me. I'll be right back. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, I'm back, and I've got... How, how many of these do I have now? I have three beads. Okay, I have three beads. I only needed to use one with Sophia since I knew what to do with her necklace this Going time. Going up? I'll wait down here. So hopefully that's Shoot all I yourself. need. I actually went and I got more lava to put in that machine, but I forgot I didn't have the little wheel, and ah, jeez, ah, jeez. So let's see if I understand this right, but first, make sure I save. Alright, so... Use you. And use you. And push you up. Push you up. Oops. Use you. and push you up and push you up all right you like it use the bead hope you like it it's working heck yeah get on board sophia uh, 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 uh. oh shit oh shit what am i gonna have to do oh no is this in real time am i gonna ruin it oh no uh 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 Um, 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 oh, I think I had to remember what they were on the floor, but I don't remember. Oh, no. Is it gonna run out of power? I, I don't remember. You know what, actually, I can pause and I can look at my last recording. <laughs> okay, I got it. I have to, I have to pick up 
to I have to get this, and then I have to use it here. And I didn't do anything. And I didn't do anything. What? Use the scepter with the slot. Yeah, and then I need to I need to push it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, holy shit. That was close. Too close. <laughs> oh, hey, this is a really good looking area. I, I like the coloring on this. That's obviously what I care about most in life. Oh, whoa. Now I'm done here. Okay. Stick close, kid. This could be dangerous. I'll take my chances. That's a lot of doors. I'm just gonna go ahead and save. Alright, so, let's see. That one leads me... Ooh, there's a lot of doors. <laughs> Here, okay. Hmm. Hey! Holy shit, there's a lot of doors. What was the hay about? Uh, I guess I can't get down there from here. Oh, jeez. The guide just says, this maze is pretty straightforward. So that's good to know. <laughs> oh, I wish I could, like, fast forward the game in general. Why is Sophia just standing there? You bugging out, girl? Whoops! What? Okay. Just just go down there, Indy. Just go down! <laughs> you dumb dumb. Okay, now I'm up there. <laughs> That's some awesome walking. Oh my freaking god. Okay. I'm in the middle. Okay, what about here? Oh, I'm down here. I can't reach it. Well, well where am I now? Oh, there we go. Okay, what about here? Had jeez. I don't know if I need to go there or or somewhere over here. What's over here? Anything? Oh, there's doors. Come on, those have to be like the end of the maze, right? Cause cause they're hard to get to. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna. Oh, hey, Sophia, here you come. I'm just gonna go ahead and save again, cause that looks dangerous. Okay, so... Oh, oh, oh! God, I have such... I have super vague memories of this. What? It's fucking cheating. Oh, jeez. Well, how are you supposed to know which ones are gonna disappear? Will they come back? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, hmm. Interesting. Alright. Again, how are you possibly supposed to- is there some kind of rhyme or reason to this? Hmm. Wait, okay. Ah ha ha! I guess I had to go wherever there's two- nope, that doesn't help. I can't go there. Okay. Freaking weird. Pew pew pew. I guess I want to go wherever there's as many options going forward, so like... That... Okay. Okay. Don't... just don't get rid of that one. Yeah! Okay. I'm good. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> But I did it. You coming, Sophia? 
Are you coming? Hold your horses. Is she gonna like do it some other way that's better? Or, or oh, she's just super good at it. Uh, pff. Fucking whatever, Sophia. You watched me do it, and that's why you knew. Nice moves. Thanks. <laughs> no fucking allowed right now. You'll have plenty of time later once we're out of this hell zone. Ooh. Here's your shining city. Not what I expected, that's for sure. And the place is still humming, maintaining the air pressure for untold centuries. All right. I got a big mission. This looks very dramatic. There's a froggy. Looks like it's hungry for Oracalcum. Oh man. And there's a spindle. Just, I'm just gonna go ahead and save. <laughs> Wait here, I'll be back. Okay, but hurry. Apparently I needed to see in that last room there's like a diagram. Okay, this is the diagram I need to see. So the volcano has to be at the bottom, the the moon has to be lower left, and the sun has to be lower right. Volcano, bottom, moon, lower left, sun, lower right. Oh, I can just load my game. So do I, do I just put the stones on here? Oops, no, not that yet. That didn't do anything. Use moonstone and use worldstone. Okay, volcano, bottom. Moon apparently is a full moon. Lower left, and the sun. I guess the the noon sun. Lower right. Should be right. Uh oh. What did you do now, me? I think I turned it on. Yeah. You see, Colonel. Oh I shit. Oh shit. Would be of some use to us. Kerner, I knew I smelled a rat. <laughs> he sounds happy to see him. All I smell, Anton, is your fear. Don't move. My God, how beautiful! This freaking music. Congratulations, <laughs> Doctor Jones. You've just handed the Sir Reich its ultimate victory. It'll take more than a few orichalcum bombs to conquer the world, a woman. Bombs? The gods don't need bombs. Take a look around. What do you think this astonishing machinery was used for? Uh, this mystery will never unravel. Central Power Station? Religious ceremonies? A holiday barbecues? <laughs> I assume Central Power Central Station. Central Power Station? Wrong! As Plato himself well knew, this was a factory for manufacturing higher beings! A god machine? While you've been wandering around, we've been stockpiling oricalcum. And now we have all we need! Are you ready for the greatest moment in history, Doctor? Wait, so does that mean, like, was Nurebsal, like, made here? He's, he's like an artificial ghost? That'd be kind of cool. Let's see, I, I'll pass thanks. I think the heat in here has cooked your cabbages. Didn't you notice all those hideously deformed bones? Do you really believe in this godhood business? Oh, oh, it just, like... Messes Did people you up. All those hideously deformed bones. Experiments gonna die. Unworthy slaves sacrificed in the name of knowledge. Progress has its price, you know. Uh, maybe they were all too human, like you. Maybe they weren't quite human to begin with. Hmm. <laughs> maybe they weren't quite human to begin with. 
Inhuman or subhuman? That's his little hand thing he was doing. And they phased into awesome power of this device. He's like flapping his hands like a little raptor. From no such imperfection. Oh, your Naziness will be what does you in. You're talking suicide, gentlemen. Scientific discoveries belong to the board, Chons. That's something you of all people should understand. Oh, will this be a classic Indiana Jones ending where they they ruin themselves and it doesn't even matter that I was here? Do you really believe in this godhood business? Do you really believe this machine still works? Do you really believe in this godhood business? Why not? As a god, I shall know everything, be everywhere, rule everyone! We both shall rule, Herr Doctor. Eh? Don't be silly, Colonel. You're not prepared for this. Oh, shit. We shall see. Tell you what, let's all go home and die in bed. <laughs> Swell, send me a postcard from Valhalla. Godhood sounds good. I'd like a crack at that. Swell, send me a postcard from Valhalla. One more step and you'll get there first. You can't leave now. We're just beginning our experiment. Don't let me stop you. And we can't begin without a guinea pig. Oh, shit. <laughs> Audible gulp. Now, if you'll kindly step onto the platform. <gasps> no! What? If anyone's going to become a god, it must be me. <laughs> you dingus. You don't make me laugh. I am in charge of this operation, you spike sausage. Activate the machine. <sighs> A test is a test. Plato suggested 10B. Let's try that. Wait. What now, Charles? Yeah, wh wh why don't you like it? <laughs> he he's probably gonna die or whatever. You know what? I'm just gonna save. Uh... Okay, what about Plato's Tenfold Error? You're making a big mistake, Kerner. Oh, go ahead, you could use some self-improvement. Um... You're making a big mistake, Kerner. How so? Most of Plato's numbers were way off target. I think Plato prescribed an orichalcum overdose. Ten bees might give you size ten antlers. I think Plato prescribed an orichalcum overdose. Hmm... Just a thought. Maybe right. They should divide by ten. Try one bead. One bead it is. Himmel, it's working! <laughs> nice. <No! laughs> well. A small bead for a small man, eh, Charles? Now it's your turn. That sure happens. No thanks, Godhoods, for egomaniacs like you. I'd rather watch, but thanks for the offer. You don't need out or calcum, you need a miracle. Not a chance, cue ball. Um. I'd rather watch, but thanks for the offer. Move! Unless you want my men to move you. That's better. Uh, you don't need a or a Calcumian a miracle. What makes you think you can outdo the old kings? What makes you think you can outdo the old kings? Science, my boy. We have it, and they didn't. I don't know. It seems like they had pretty good science. Oops, I, th I think I might have screwed up. Uh, let's talk this over. Listen, what if Plato's error went the other way? Please, Professor, don't make me do this. Okay, let's get it over with. Uh. Listen, what if Plato's error went the other way? How do you mean? Dividing by 10 didn't work, but multiplying might. I think Plato and Kerner were both wrong. You can't buy Godhood for a couple of beads. I'm going, I want to go all the way. <laughs> um. If I'm going, I want to go all the way. All right, George, you decide. How many beads should be used? Let's see if I die. Um. A hundred beads. Shoot the works. Let's hope you've picked the correct amount. 98? <laughs> 99 100 feet This is going to be a game over Indy, no! Ah! 
Hey! <laughs> Bitchin! After Indy's fatal transformation, Atlantis shook itself to pieces, sealing its secrets in the Nazis in Molten Lava. Aw, man! <laughs> Alright. Let's do that again, I suppose. Um... Damn it! It's working! Himmel means heaven. Got in Himmel. <laughs> It's still funny. A small beat. All right, I need to do better this time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and save again. No god mode plus. It's cheats. Okay. Uh, you don't need aura calcum. You need a miracle. You don't need aura calcum. You need a miracle. Nonsense! I'll start with Plato's number. Indeed, should do the trick. Now position yourself. March now. <laughs> That means hurry up. That's better. Here goes. Hang on a second. Okay. Um, let's talk this over. Listen, what's later? Everyone's the other way. Um, let's talk this over. There's no time. How many feet should be used? <laughs> well, he's asking me for advice. Um. No beads, you crazy old man. Come now, doctor. Where's your scientific curiosity? Uh, listen, what if Plato's error went the other way? Don't make me do this. Okay, let's get over with. Um... Listen, what if Plato's error went the other way? How do you mean? Or maybe I need to not go down that path at all. I think Plato and Kerner were both wrong. Alright, John. You decide. How many bees should be used? Uh, uh, who cares how many bees? It's all a myth. 20 bees, let's double Plato's dose. 100 bees, shoot the works. No bees, forget your stupid obsession. Uh, 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 uh. Who cares how many beads? It's all a myth. In that case, let's try Plato's suggestion. Eight, nine, ten beads! Am I gonna turn into a little goopy guy? Like Kerner? <laughs> Indy, no! Oh, that works too. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Alright, that's no good. Unless that's just the right amount. Nah, looks like not. I still became a Goopa ghost. Alright, guide time. Uh, no thanks. Godhood's for egomaniacs like you. No! And that's bad. Uh, um. You don't need Oric. Nonsense! Here goes! Hang on a second. Alright, let's talk this over. Listen, what if Plato's error was the other way? Please, Professor, don't make me do this. Okay, let's see. Get it over with. Um. Please, Professor, don't make me do this. Look on the bright side. You'll be leaving your cares behind. You know, you'd make much better god than me. Listen, what if Plato's error went the other way? Please, Professor, I've got classes to teach. <laughs> you know, you'd make a much better god than me. That goes without saying, but there's no reason to turn up your nose at the chance to become one of the lesser immortals. Listen, what if Plato's error went the other way? I have class I need to teach. Um... Please, Professor, I've got classes to teach. Stop whining, man! Let's not take chances. How does 20 beads sound? Whatever to say, no beads, you crazy old man. Uh. No beads, you crazy old man. Come now, doctor. Where's your scientific curiosity? Uh, 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 uh. It's not too late. Let's call the whole thing off. Show some spine, man. How many beads should be used? No. Um. No beads. Forget your stupid obsession. Really, Dr. John, get a grip on yourself! <laughs> uh, we still got a chance if we leave now. We still got a chance if we leave now. 
Glory belongs to the fearless, Chon. Wait a minute, let's go home. Wait a minute, let's go home. Stop whining, man. How many bees <laughs> should be you? Dang it. Um. No bees. Let's get out of here. Not yet. Jeez, how many dialogue options are there? Um. We still got a chance if we leave now. Glory belongs to the fearless, Chon. Okay, let's get it over with. Is your mind composed? Anger and resentment may spoil your chances. Um. Yes, I'm ready. What if I just really good, want it? Good. What if I just act How like I love it? Feet should be used. Will you stop with the feed talk? Really, Doctor, you must cooperate. Why is he so insistent that I choose the number of beads? I, I, I think he's got some like self-esteem issues that he's not letting us in on. He's like not confident in his choices. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's get it over with. How many beads? No beads. Really, Doctor? Wait a minute. Stop. How many? Really? Okay. How many? Whatever you say. Let's hope you've picked the correct amount. Eighteen? Nineteen? Pre-God nine? Twenty beads! What was that? Well, dang. This is hard, jeez. Forget the beads. Really, Doc? Wait. I think this is what I need. For your sake, I hope this doesn't work. Fine, not. Uh, oh, nothing. Let's get on with it. Once I'm a god, I'm sending you straight to hell. Let's get out of here while we still can. You'll find out. Once I'm a god, I'm sending you straight to hell. I'm offering you immortality. Is that the thanks I get? Mm, ever heard the term angry god? Wait till you see me. It's more than you deserve. Start the machine. I dare you to use those beads. We're wasting time. I'm ready to make history. Ever heard the term angry god? Wait till you see me. Hang on! Perhaps I haven't thought this through! Yeah, nervous raptor hands. You want to go fast! You're scheming against me in spite of my generosity! Well, you, weirdo. you won't get the upper hand that way! Stand aside, Jones! 98? 99? 100B! Prepare to feel <laughs> my wrath! I don't think we're going to be feeling your wrath. Little hands. He has the same voice as God Jones. They said anger and resentment right, might ruin it. So... Indy! Follow me, Sophia! Oh shit, it's collapsing! <laughs> the other Nazis- oh, I guess they like fell or whatever. Oh, they just disappeared. So did, did he become a shittier god than I did? I bet I was the best god. Whoa, dramatic. Oh, we're all the way out of here, thank goodness. Oh shit, is that the end? D do we win? The bad guys did kill themselves, that is a classic Indiana Jones ending. Beautiful. So fair. You know, a lot of my discoveries seem like tall tales, even to me. <laughs> At least there's some evidence this time. Oh, well. again? Maybe not. <laughs> oh my gosh. What was that for? She just can't stop kicking up that little foot. 
She stick the leggy out. Yeah, we did it! God, so if we didn't save her, I wonder if he would just, like, be there and, and, and all alone and be like, hmm, I guess that happened. Whatever. But hey, <laughs> it's over. Oh man, that was a real slog near the end, but it was still really fun, like, reliving this whole game. It was pretty good. I, I might have to do the wits path on my own time or whatnot. Does this, does this game have achievements? I don't think so. I mean, I guess I could have added them in for the Steam version, but I'm going to assume not. But still, I, I, I hope you enjoyed this little little romp down memory lane. In terms of, of future games, I don't know if I'm going to start another Let's Play right away, but I still want to do Puyo Puyo Tetris, especially now that it's on the PC. And apparently it has dual audio, so I could have the Japanese voice acting on and just do my own voice acting. And uh, what else have I been considering? Valhalla, the, the bartending game, but I hear that's kind of kind of cash, kind of... Uh, not great for a let's play, but who knows, maybe it could be a super chill let's play. And, and what's that other game? Read Only Memories? I have that too. There's a few different things I have that might make interesting little romps. But for now, this one's complete. We saved the world from the Nazis. I guess the implication is just we can just assume that, that the scientist guy became a shitty god, and I guess he's just down there now. Maybe someone else will get a necklace that has his soul in it, and, and then that'll continue the cycle. That'll continue the adventure. Maybe Indiana Jones' shitty greaser son could go on an adventure related to that. <laughs> you can read all about it in my fanfic called Shia Jones and the, the actual fate of Atlantis, the double fate of Atlantis gonna be really good he's gonna have a love interest who's another sassy lady and and it's gonna be real great ah, administrative support we're just gonna we're just gonna keep standing there the whole time <laughs> friends of Indy Long-suffering significant others, that's cute. Scum advice. Tim Schafer, that name sounds familiar. <laughs> it said they know who they are. <gasps> Look for Andy's return in an all-new adventure. Perhaps as a much younger man. Are you talking about young Indy? The adventures of, of baby Indy? Oh, that was cute. <laughs> oh, welcome back. I like the sassy hip pose that that little guy has. But thank you very much for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. We did it! Another one down the tube. Another one bites the dust. Alright, see ya. Wink.